Hi everyone, welcome back to Sleep Weekly Show. I'm Celia. Hi, I'm Eric. Mm, what do we have today? The first one is about the computer case. This acrylic lid. What's wrong with it? Well, some of the customers asked why this surface looks so coarse. It does look a little bit rough. Yeah, but this is because of the protector. You can just rip it off. The original texture is smooth and neat. Mm -hmm. It does feel much better. Yeah, sure. Okay, the next one is Groove 16B High Precession ADC. We made one for Raspberry Pi in head format, using the same chip ADS1115. But many people want a more generous version, so we made one with Groove Header. How does ADC work? The full name of ADC is Analog to Digital Converter. I think the name explains a lot. It reads analog signals and converts them to digital ones, then output them to the main controller. I think most development boards can read analog signal directly from the sensor, not like a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, like Arduino. But the onboard ADC is not precise enough for some users. A typical onboard Arduino ADC is 10 bit, which means it divides max volt read, which is 5 volt, into 2 to the power of 10, which is 1023 steps. That's why when you call analog read function in Arduino IDE, the data returned is between 0 to 1023. Uh, this why is 16 bit. Yeah, it means the resolution of the ADC is 64 times higher than Arduino onboard ADC. Let me show you how precise the, the data can be. Okay, uh, today what I'm using wild terminal as the main controller. Firstly, we have to wire the sensor and the ADC. Firstly, plug the group interface into the thermal header with A0 and A1 signal. And then you have to plug the groove cable into the output pin. Then connect it to the A0 port of the wire terminal. Okay, turn it on. The sensor I'm using is a rot rotary angle sensor. When I'm rotated, you can see it's really precise. This is how 16B ADC works. We also can read differential input to measure the voltage of battery. Firstly, connect the jumper. Now let's try the LiPo. So here you don't have to mind whether you are connecting a positive or negative anode right because you can read positive or negative value. So now it's negative 3.7, which is the standard voltage of a LiPo battery. Now we can connect it to revert the pin. And now it's positive value, also 3.7. Wow, amazing! Yeah, this will be an ideal choice if you have to deal with high precession analog signals. Absolutely. What's next? Groove analog microphone. Can this record? It's so tiny. Why not? Wow, it's so cute. Yeah, and the core module we use is the same on the speaker. The quality of the recording is just amazing. It also works with very low power consumption, just like the speaker. Be great to put it on edge device. Absolutely. Okay, what else do we have? This is an adapter cable for wild terminal. What's this for? To allow wild terminal to use Pi head. Isn't this 40 pin header compatible with Pi? Yes, it is. But when we were designing wild terminal, we want to make it a peripheral device for Raspberry Pi. And so when you connect the 40 pin header directly with a Pi header like this, you have to revert TX and RX pin so you can control the Pi head. It's, it will be troublesome, so we made a cable, adapter cable for you to do it. To use it, it's quite simple, just connect the cable 
one end to the well terminal, the other end to the hi hat. Then you won't have to do any other configuration. You can use directly like Raspberry Pi. You can also stack another Pi hat on top of it. Wow, that would be nice. Yeah, sure. And one more thing, a PCIe to SATA extension board. It used on Odyssey. Yeah, it helps you to expand your storage easily on Odyssey. As many are using Odyssey as a NAS server, they definitely need more SAT ports to build RAID every in order to keep their data safe. So we made a uh, SATA extension board with five ports and M.2 socket. Mm, do we have something to hold your hard disk? It seems heavy. Well, if you are going to use a 3.5 inch hard HDD, it definitely needs something to support. So we are designing and testing a stand which will support four, this four 3.5 inch hard disk. Mm, when will it be published? Can't tell, but it will come soon. Okay, this is everything we have today. Thank you all. Bye-bye. See you next week.